Hey guys, this is MadCats101, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make Ruby answer questions that a baby could answer. And what kind of questions are these? Well, they're the very basic comparisons. So for instance, is 2 greater than 1? Uh, now you obviously know that 2 is greater than 1, but the challenge here is to make Ruby tell us whether 2 is greater than 1 or not. And I'm going to be showing you a couple different operators that you can use in Ruby to compare two different values, similar to the way you would do it in math, and Ruby will actually be able to tell you yes or no answers based on whether the expression is true or not. So let me head up to the IRB console and give you an example of this. So let's say I have a variable a, which is 1, and a variable b, which is 2, and I want to ask Ruby if a is greater than b. Now obviously a isn't greater than b because a is 1 and b is 2 and 1 isn't greater than 2, but I want Ruby to tell me that. So all I have to do to do this is type a greater than b and hit enter and it says false because a is not greater than b. Now okay, what if I want to ask it if b is greater than a? Well I just do the same thing, I just flip b and a just like you'd expect and it tells me true because 2 in, is in fact greater than 1. Uh, now there are a couple different questions I could ask Ruby using different operators. For instance, I can say is a less than or equal to b. I can say a less than or equal to b. Um, now I can also ask is a greater than or equal to b. I can say a greater than or equal to b. Um, and it'll tell me false. Alright, now let's have a look at the two other operators. There's equal to and not equal to. Now, how you might express these as an operator isn't as obvious as the other ones. So, let's say I want to check if A is equal to B. I wouldn't say A equals B, because that'll assign A to B, or B to A, rather. Now, I don't want to do that, I want to compare them. And the comparison operator, because of this dilemma, is actually equals equals. So it's two equal signs next to each other, no spaces. So I say A equals equals B, I hit enter and it says false because 1 is not equal to 2. Now what if I want to ask is a not equal to b? Now this is the opposite of the equal to operator, it's just it will tell me true if they're not equal and it'll tell me false if they are equal. I can say a bang equal b and by bang equal I just mean exclamation point equal sign. So let's go ahead and see what this says. It says true because a is not equal to b. These don't have to be variables either. I don't have to say a less than b or a, you know, stuff like that. I can actually just say 1 greater than 2, and it'll tell me false. And I can say 20 less than 30, and it'll tell me true. And, you know, I can say 20 less than or equal to 20, and it'll tell me true. I can say 20 not equal to 20, and it'll tell me false. So I can do various uh, comparisons, and I can even mix variables and uh, numbers. So I can say a less than 20, and it'll tell me true, and I can say a less than zero, and it'll tell me false. Um, and in fact, I can actually find the value of a just by using less than or equal to. I can say, is a equal to three? No, is a greater than zero? Yup. Is a less than three? Yup. Is a equal to two? Nope. Is a equal to one? Yup. And you know, I found the value basically using comparisons. So this is a very straightforward way to get Ruby to answer a yes or no question when you're comparing two numbers. Uh, you can also compare uh, strings. So for instance, I can say quote Alex quote equals quote Alex quote and it'll tell me true. And I can say Alex equals Alex one and it'll tell me false. And I can also use not equal to, right, like that. Um, so equal to and not equal to actually work for strings as well as numbers. And you'll find that this actually works, you know, I can say is 1.5 greater than 2, and it'll tell me uh, it is not, and I can say is it greater than or equal to 2, nope, is it less than or equal to 2, yep. Um, so I can compare floating points, integers, strings, anything like that, and I can get Ruby to answer in a yes or no fashion. Now, this might seem pretty redundant right now, and you're probably thinking like, why on earth do I need Ruby to tell me any of this, I can see it with my own eyes. And the answer is, it's not that useful when you're writing some code in the Ruby console. But it becomes very useful when you send someone a script and you want the script to do some logic. So let's say the user types their age and they say they're under 16. The script might tell them one thing, and if their age is over 16, the script might tell them something else. 
And in order to do that, the script needs to be able to ask Ruby, you know, is this value less than or greater than 16? Um, you know, and you're not going to be around to say, yes, it is. You know, Ruby has to make that decision. So uh, comparisons are very useful for logic, for control flow of your program. They're not so useful in the IRB console. So I was just making this video to introduce you guys to the various comparison operators. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you if statements using these comparisons, which will allow you to control the flow of your program based on the result of different comparisons. But anyway, thanks for watching, subscribe, and goodbye.